This is a full tour walkthrough of the beautiful Disney Cruise Line Disney Fantasy. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a fantastic website. Let's start outside at the front in the adults only area. This area is for over 18s only. It features a pool, swim up bar and plenty of sun lounges, as well as two hot tubs. The Cove Cafe is a coffee shop serving up hot and cold drinks for an extra charge. However, the snacks and treats are complimentary. Back outside and one deck up, opposite the adult area, you have part of the family area with sun lounges and a small splash pool. Moving up one deck to the next part of the adult area, you have the currents bar. The ship really comes to life on a night, doesn't it look spectacular? There's comfortable seating, including a smoking section. Moving forwards, there's lots of cushioned sun lounges. So much space for us adults. Right at the front of the ship is somewhere called Satellite Falls, with a circular pool with a waterfall. There's more beds and seating areas with some great views across the front of the ship. Let's move back to the family pool areas. It's a large area with two pools, which can be covered as pictured here for parties and events. And a large screen showing Disney movies and content. Doesn't she look beautiful on a night? There's also a small kids slide and Nemo's Reef splash area for the little ones. You'll find plenty of seating and some beds, as well as complimentary life jackets for the kids. There's also plenty of tables and chairs to enjoy the food, and a drink station with complimentary coffee, tea and sodas such as Coca-Cola. There's another small splash pool facing outwards. Around the pool area you will find several places for eats and treats, including frozen treats, complimentary self-serve ice cream, and Flo's 8 Cafe. This is a complimentary grill serving food such as hot dogs, burgers, sandwiches, fries and pizzas. Moving back, we have one of the standout features. It's the Aqueduct. This is a really fun water coaster which wraps all around the ship, 
you must try it. Just behind we have the Aqualab, a water play area with spraying jets, dumping buckets and interactive fun. And moving back and up we have the sports court. And just behind a small mini golf course and foosball table. That's all of the main outdoor areas, let's move inside to Cabana's, the onboard buffet. It's usually open for breakfast and lunch, and you can choose to eat inside or outdoors at the back. There's lots of different stations which are repeated offering a big selection of food for all of the family. There's also more complimentary drink stations serving hot and cold drinks. Also on the upper decks is the Centre Spartan Salon, complete with the gym. As well as the two extra pay specialty restaurants, Paolo and Remy. Paolo is an Italian themed restaurant open for brunch and dinner. And Remy is a French restaurant open for dinner. And there's no kids allowed, it's for adults only. And talking about adults, let's take a look at the adults only areas on board, and they are impressive. First up we have the La Piazza, complete with a merry-go-round bar. have O'Gill's Pub, which is an Irish themed pub, complete with screens to show games. While Disney might have been started by a mouse, but a fantastic online presence is started by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one online platform that helps you to create your website and grow your presence or business. A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring our channel and supporting this video. Your website will look beautiful and be so easy to build with loads of customizable templates and dynamic layouts. It takes just minutes to put together pages complete with things like images, videos, text, as well as SEO optimization. We used to dread making changes and adding more content, but with Squarespace it takes us just seconds now. Highlights for us include the powerful blogging tools, we can quickly post and categorise content, gain powerful insights with the analytic tools, as well as seamlessly integrate our social media channels. So head to squarespace.com now for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.
and just opposite you have Ooh La La, the champagne bar. It's very posh. I can't get over the theming. It's amazing. All inspired by Europe. This corridor looks like Barcelona. And it leads to the Tube, a British themed nightclub. Isn't the theming just great? And just connected is the Skyline Bar. With ever-changing virtual backdrops, one minute you're in Rome, and the next minute you're in Paris. Magical. There are so many fun touches around the ship. I don't think we're going to fit into this cabin. But on that subject, if you do want a full cabin tour, check out our Disney fantasy episodes. On all of the decks with cabins, you'll find self-service laundrettes. Disney are one of the few cruise lines who offer this. It has washers and dryers for a small extra charge, as well as complimentary ironing facilities. So no more worrying about those creased clothes. Let's move right down to deck number two. This is the first of the three main dining rooms and it's called the Enchanted Garden. It's so beautifully themed. During your meal, the whole venue turns from day to night with starscapes on the ceiling as well as opening flowers. The attention to detail is just fantastic. Moving up on deck we have the next restaurant, Animator's Palette. Now this is such a cool interactive restaurant, with screens all around the restaurant. On one night you'll draw your own animations which come to life on the screens, and on another you'll talk to Crush from Finding Nemo. What's really interesting about the restaurants is that you move around with your assigned servers each night on a rotational basis. It's so clever and very unique compared to other lines. Welcome to the atrium, the centre of the ship. Isn't it beautiful? It really is the heart of the ship and it's spread over three decks. With golden plated characters and a spectacular chandelier. You'll also find plenty of character meets here. And the final main dining room, the Royal Court. This is themed after royal princes and princesses and it's another gorgeous venue.
on deck 3 surrounding the atrium, you'll find the Bon Voyage bar, several seating areas, as well as guest services. Towards the front of the ship is the shopping area, with lots of merch on offer and exclusive Disney Cruise gear. At the front of the ship, you have the two-level theatre. Performances here include Frozen the Musical, Aladdin the Musical, and Disney's Believe, an original musical. The entertainment is fantastic. Just outside the theatre is Preludes, serving drinks as well as fresh popcorn for an extra charge. Even the bathrooms are themed, a hat to show you. Moving back towards the centre of the ship, on the other side you'll find even more shops. Now let's move up to deck 4 and the second level of the atrium. On one side you have Shutters, the interactive photo gallery where you can check out all of the photos the ship's photographers have taken. And on the other side is the Vista Cafe, another cafe serving hot drinks for an extra charge as well as some yummy complimentary snacks. How cool is this interactive artwork? It's all across the ship. Towards the front of the ship on deck 4, you have the upper level of the theatre, as well as a cinema, the Buna Vista Theatre. We love to see a cinema on board a ship, and this one's special as it shows all of the latest Disney and Marvel movies, sometimes even before they come out on land. There's another shop for treats, drinks and popcorn. Towards the back on deck 4 is another shop, as well as the D Lounge. This is a family venue for trivia, character meets, game shows and much more. Deck 4 also offers an outdoor promenade deck, with comfortable lounges and seats as well as deck games. Now up to Deck 5, the top level of the atrium. Here you'll find Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. This is where kids can come for a prince or princess makeover for an extra charge. Music 
there's also a future cruise planning desk and port adventures desk. One thing we really haven't showed you yet are the kids clubs. They are the best at sea, from toddlers to teenagers, there's something for everyone. Thank you so much for watching this tour of the Disney Fantasy. We do hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you check out our vlog series, which we've uploaded over the last few weeks, where you can check out more of the food, fun, entertainment, and much more about this amazing ship. Please do hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. And a big thank you to our amazing patrons. You too can become a patron to support our channel so that we can go on more cruises like this, self funded, and create honest and entertaining videos. In return, you get things like behind the scenes episodes, early access to our videos and ad free videos, as well as a monthly Zoom call. We thank you so much. That's it till next time. Happy cruising!